for um, Fresco, the um, you know that which is the VC fund that I run with three other partners today. The I really only had six jobs. One was a real job, you know, with those defined ladders, and I and I learned a lot. But I to be honest, I also un, I, I I learned what not to do, right? You know, like and. Um, and then there were the five startups. I would say each one of those startups taught me something different. So like, you know, you, you, you touched on a couple of things, right? So from a technology perspective, I would say my, I mean, each one of them were, was solving a different technological problem and each one of them, and obviously the technological problems of today are a lot different than the technological problems of the past. For example, 23 years ago, when we started with Zagat, the restaurant would crash at 12 noon and at 5 p.m. roughly. And why do you think that? Uh, people are looking for restaurants. And I learned how to build a truly scalable, you know, highly available, you know, five, what we call 5.9 website. But we also did that with pizza box servers in Iraq on a colo um, spot with, with an arrowhead switch and, you know, dynamically based and IP based load balancing, geographical load balancing, all stuff that now I'm jealous that all you kiddos just clicked a few check boxes on AWS, right? I had to go build that. It took me weeks to figure it out, weeks to implement, you know, a lot of scar tissue. You can't see it, but there's a lot of gray hair, you know, but still, and I was only 27 when I was figuring it out. And I, I probably went gray at 27, right? So um, obviously that's a lot different than let's say the last business I did, which is, you know, as recently as like 2014, you know, building, you know, building software development tools for hybrid web, I'm sorry, hybrid mobile development. Right, you know, so we're building tools for HTML5, JavaScript, you know, cross compiling for iOS and Android. Right? You know, iOS and Android didn't even exist back in 1999 when I'm doing this, you know, dynamic load balancing, right? Cloud things like that. So, you know, ultimately, is um, each one of those um, startups was not only solving a different technology problem. But, you know, like one of them was selling software development tools, which is a lot different than a consumer based, you know, review site, right? The, the precursor to the modern kind of, um, you know, you know, user, user generated content system we have in place now. Um, so ultimately, each one of those, I can go on and on and give you a dissertation of what was learned and not learned. Um, but the underlying theme through it from a technology perspective was always goes back to that, like, be open about what you're going to do, like use the right tools to solve the problem, right? Um, thinking, you know, thinking about the problems in a very holistic way, um, as opposed to, let's say, just trying to kind of do things in a very, you know, very procedural way. Then you talk about just um, the M&A, you know, each one of them was a very different M&A process. Some of them were great for, you know, staff with the options and investors. Some of them were not. Some of them were okay for the founders and investors, but not necessarily as okay for the staff. So I learned a lot about management through all of them. I think I wrote a blog post at one point that said something about, um, I or it might be on my LinkedIn profile where, you know, it was only by the third or fourth startup that I stopped making the same mistakes, right? Um, I made new mistakes, but I stopped repeating the same mistakes, which means I'm a slow learner, which, which means if I actually was a fast learner, you know, it sounds really impressive that I have five, you know, like, VC backed startups with five exits, but like maybe if I was a fast learner, I'd have 10 and I'd drive a Maserati or, you know, whatever. Right. So, I mean, um, ultimately is I stopped making, I started identifying these patterns and trends. And some of those patterns were pretty simple. Like, you know, I premature, avoid premature scaling. Right. Um,